When you have an element with position sticky, you can now apply certain styles conditionally when it gets stuck. Let me show you. This is the demo. We have this action bar over here. It currently has a background color white. And if I scroll down, when it gets stuck, we change the background color to gray. Let me show you how to write the code for it. So we have the actions grid container and inside of it, we have the actions grid. On the container, we're gonna define a new CSS container and that's gonna have any name, but for example, actions grid. And we wanna monitor the scroll state. And then we have to find the child and that's gonna be actions grid over here. And we apply a container query over here, depending on the scroll state. We say when it gets stuck to the top, then we're gonna change the background color to, for example, D, D, D. And that's it. Now over here, I've used CSS nesting. I've nested it inside of Actions Grid, which is a child of this container, which is why I didn't have to specify the name of the container. But if you put it out like this, you would have to provide the name of the container and that is Actions Grid, Actions Grid. And of course you have to write the selector that's gonna be Actions Grid. Keep in mind that with container queries, you can only apply a container query like this over here as a child of where you've defined the container. And never mind this error, this is because this feature is a new, is baseline newly available. And if you don't know what it means, then check out this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.